So I had Johnny investigate. <laughs> and he sent me some videos of DeSantis walking. And I was having a hard time telling whether he was walking as if he was walking on high heels or he was walking on inserts. So I haven't made my determination yet. I need more information before I can conclude that he's wearing lifts. Okay. Well, you could just open your eyes. You could just open your eyes. <laughs> now, presidential candidate and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has found himself in the middle of a PR nightmare. And I got to be honest with you, when it comes to Republican voters and how much they value, you know, traditional masculinity, this is a bit of a PR nightmare for Ronnie Boy here, because this moment he had with Patrick Bet David. Uh, where he asked if Ron DeSantis is wearing heels secretly, not a good look. And the scandal, which is now referred to as Bootgate, it even has a label now, um, has reached such a frenzy that Donald Trump has weighed in. His campaign has weighed in because of course, how could he not? So now the theory that uh, DeSantis is wearing secret heels, okay, or risers in his boots, um, has been floating around social media for months. But Bootgate exploded on Monday after Patrick Bet David brought it up on his podcast. So let's watch that clip, and please, this is my favorite part. Pay close attention to how utterly uncomfortable DeSantis is as he's being asked this question. Can you bring this one clip? I know you were on, uh, 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 what do you call it, on, uh, uh, what was it, Bill Maher, and Bill Maher talked about the boots. I've seen you walk with these boots, go ahead and play this clip. This on TikTok went viral. It doesn't have a million views, it doesn't have you know, 10 million views. This thing's got 1.2 million likes, and, and some people are wondering, how, what are they? I don't even. Under, so I haven't what, seen that. What there's, they've not shown this to you. Okay, no. what they're trying to say with this is that in your boots, you have heels. No, no, no. That's yeah, what those, those are just standard off the rack um, Lucchese. Um, how, how, tall are you? how tall are you, Governor? How tall 5'11". Are you? 5'11". Okay. Why don't you wear tennis shoes and dress shoes? Uh, I do wear tennis shoes when I work out. Yeah, 100%. You do? Yep. Okay. I got a gift for you. I'd love for you to wear, okay, I shop at Ferragamo, okay, and... I, got, I don't accept gifts. I can't accept I, it. I totally get I'm it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Helen, I have two questions for you, okay? Number one, do you think he's wearing like risers or heels? Uh, and then number two, do you think it should matter? <laughs> should it hurt him in this presidential race? Well, I, I will say that in preparation for the show, I did watch the entire clip of the five on from Fox News and I could feel my IQ points just dropping. As I was watching, like these people were talking about whether Ron DeSantis is in heels for six whole minutes, and I could just feel. I think we're about my, to beat them. Like so. my <laughs> IQ dropped twenty five points to the point where I was like, "Oh, I'm now my IQ is now on par with the average Fox News viewer." Like that's how I felt. So yes, but secondly. Um, Yes, he's wearing heels. I love that he's like, oh no, these are standard off the rack, Lucchese's or whatever he's, or whatever he says. And mm -hmm. anybody, and you know, like she said from the, the whatever that woman's name from the five was like, um, open your eyes. Yeah, those are, those are heels, buddy boy. They're heels. They're they're like I'm five one and I'm wearing the same shoes. Well, the experts have weighed in. Okay, <laughs> so even if you have difficulty with that and you can't really decipher one way or another. Um, yesterday, a menswear writer named Derek Guy attempted to settle the debate through a Politico article in which he consulted three shoe experts. <gasps> okay, so let's get to that. I've dealt with these politicians many times, says uh, Sethan Parker, the bespoke bootmaker behind Houston's popular Parker Boot Company, which he says has made height increasing cowboy boots for a number of Texan politicians. No, he won't reveal any names. I've helped them with their lifts. DeSantis is wearing lifts, there's no doubt. He's wearing lifts, folks. They call them lifts, <laughs> big lifts. Uh, Graham Ebner, an Austin based cowboy bootmaker uh, who trained at Texas Traditions, widely considered one of the country's best bespoke cowboy bootmakers, also suspects the governor is wearing lifts. And finally, London based shoemaker Nicholas Templeman notes that DeSantis's boots have a very unusual wrinkle high up on the decorative tops. 
the, for Templeman, <laughs> the bending in this area on DeSantis's boots suggests that an interior wedge is lifting DeSantis's heel up, causing his ankle to crease an area higher than designed. Oh, mm. well, I mean, the the bespokers have bespoken. <laughs> They have. <laughs> if the if every bespoke bootmaker says he's wearing heels, I think it's safe to say he's wearing heels. <laughs> and they're estimating that um, the the lifts uh, amount to about one and a half inches, right? So give them a little, you know, a little lift. Oh, there's a there's a stereotypical joke here, a very low hanging fruit joke about men lying about you know inches. But <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm just gonna say that there is a joke. Yeah, there. yeah. You know, some people like to make this joke about how men with small, you know, genitalia <laughs> lie about their genitalia size, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in that direction. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that joke. We're talking about boots here. We're talking about boots. Yeah, we're talking, we're about, talking lifts. about lifts and yeah. So finally, let's get to what made this story really blow up, other than people like us who just needed a brief break from all the devastation in the news. Donald Trump waited, okay? So Trump's campaign put out a brutal statement just yesterday. Hours after the Politico article's publication on Tuesday, the campaign sweatily declared <laughs> victory, calling Bootgate the kiss of death for the man once seen as Trump's top rival in the Republican primary. Instead of telling the truth and just being comfortable in his own skin, he resorts to borderline psychotic <laughs> behavior by lying to the American people, the campaign crowed. Uh, it, is that what this country wants in a president? And the statement continues, Ron is going to wish for more pudding and in-flight biohazard stories instead of having to deal with his shoes that are more appropriate for America's next top model <laughs> than the campaign trail. I got I got to say Republicans know how to run campaigns. They just do. <laughs> I can never imagine the Biden campaign putting out a statement like that. I mean, it's fun. It's I love fun. that the Trump team of all people were like psychotic behavior, lying about his height. <laughs> oh, wild and out. Yeah. I mean, well, psychotic behavior. Like, but really? Think about, think about the cultural norms on the right. Because it's not just about him lying about his height, it's about trying to allegedly make up for that lack in height by wearing risers that he's, I guess, trying to conceal. Yeah, that's that's definitely the most psychotic behavior that I have seen from the right. What do you guys think about for the sure. fact that Republicans seem to be more concerned about concealing their lifts in their boots as opposed to concealing their guns. <laughs> like like know, it is kind of amusing. Anyway, if, you know, if the heels came with a gun pouch on the side, I think more Republicans might be on board. Like, hey, there's more room with the lifts, there's more room for a bigger for a little, gun. Or no, maybe, well, I mean, it would have to be a big lift for a big gun, no? <laughs> So I don't know, but I, I like where you're going with it. I mean, if they wanna normalize heel wearing among men in the Republican Party, that's definitely the way to do it. Um, now, the Trump campaign even accused DeSantis of major brand damage to a great American footwear company <laughs> by telling PBD, that's Patrick Pet David, that uh, he wears Lucchese boots. So as for Trump himself, he retruthed the Politico article just last night, and he also posted uh, this image earlier in the month. So that's uh, the imagery accusing him of wearing boots, tell me he's not wearing hidden heels. And yeah, his boots do look weird. Yeah, they do. They do. I I swear I own the same pair. And I'm 5'1. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I literally have that pair of boots. Sorry. So Sorry, Meatball Ron. And according to social media trends data, Americans who searched for DeSantis during the past week were nearly 10, ten times more likely to click on a story about his footwear woes than they were to view any other news about him. For some of those users, DeSantis' scandal will be the only thing they read about him all month. Oh, mm. that's devastating. Delicious. Devastating. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's delicious. Delic delicious and nutritious for my heart, <laughs> for sure. For sure. 
Thanks for watching. If you become a member, you get to watch all this ad free, except for, of course, this ad. Still, hit the join button below.